setting your bike up to ride in the city? Let's talk about it. All right, what's going on YouTube? FXCLS Brooklyn is back in the building. Out here with probably my most go-to motorcycle to ride within the chaos of New York City, my 1988 FXR. And I had a subscriber recently write in and just say like, hey, he's been riding for about a year or two. And he was always kind of intimidated to be laying down the city miles. He feels like he's at a place in his riding career where he's ready to start laying down those urban miles. And he was just asking, what are some must have upgrades on his bike in order to set his bike up for some of the challenging conditions that a city environment could throw at you. So, so in this video, we're just gonna talk about a couple must have upgrades for someone's bike if you plan on riding it within the confines of an urban environment. So let's get into it. And you know what? In terms of like city riding, the upgrades that you really need are not really the sexy ones, right? You need the things that are practical to handle the insane potholes that you're going to find in the streets the insane conditions like bunch of broken glass just chilling everywhere the insane conditions the crazy drivers where you're going to have to stop on a dime and get yourself out of crazy situations you're going to need to be able to maneuver and i mean first and foremost if you know you're putting in a lot of city miles choose a bike that could maneuver like a boss and for that for me in terms of harley davidson's that's always going to be an fxr there's nothing that just feels tighter for me in terms of handling than an fxr and in terms of just lightness and just overall handling i'm always going to go with an fxr especially for city riding but yeah let's talk about the must-have upgrades i always run on my bikes that i know i'm putting in heavy mileage in the city which is pretty much all my bikes so number one upgrade you're going to want to make is your suspension so i'm not actually running anything crazy but i am running i'm actually running really good suspension for bang in terms of bang for the buck this is super shocks it's actually a uh, purpose-built motorcycles carries this and again i found that this is really good suspension especially at the price point sal badfoot made a video endorsing this so like that's pretty much all you need to know in terms of the quality of this suspension it's good <laughs> so anyway you're gonna want to upgrade your suspension first and foremost especially just to handle just to handle some of the insane conditions that the road in an urban environment can throw your way. If you smash into that pothole, you want to know that you have suspension that can handle something like that, you know, something with enough travel. So, you know, for city riding, that's one of the first things I'd be making sure is dialed in is, of course, my suspension. For this bike in particular, something I really like about this bike is the fact that it has air ride suspension the only year that harley davidson ever made a bike with this but it's just at a point where it's not great so <laughs> as much as i want to keep it on this bike just for the novelty i'm probably going to be moving to practice what i preach and upgrade the front suspension on this bike because it's cool for the novelty but i definitely feel there's some situations where this should be upgraded but in terms of my rear i've had no issues and again these are super shocks so upgrade your suspension prepare for the worst make sure your suspension could handle it the next thing is you need to be able to stop on a dime when the insane situations come at you so that means you're gonna want to have some money invested in your brakes on this particular bike obviously we're running the lindel rotors so we have top of the line rotors and these tokiko calipers are actually off of a sport bike so you know this thing could stop on a dime combine that with the general lightness of an fxr i know i could stop this bike on a dime if i need to so again invest in your braking there's a lot of crazy things that could come at you within the environment of a city make sure that you could stop on a dime and again talking about upgrades that aren't so sexy you want to make sure that people can see you right so like you know obviously you guys know me wear gear where you could be seen i like to wear a lot of white and stuff like that but also led lighting is a really great way just to be visible so i'm running up here three different sets of led lighting i have the moon's mc fly iv2 I have their light bar and I also have their light strips. So if I have this thing going, this thing is lit up like Christmas, man. So I know that people can see me when I'm coming through. And of course, on the rear, I'm running a LED license plate cover as well as a LED taillight. I don't know if I'll be able to get this, but I have the module on there where it does flicker like this to just increase the visibility. 
So again, is that going to be like as sexy as doing your bars, your exhaust or whatever? Probably not. Probably not going to be the top uh, item on the Dyna Bros list of items that you need to get. But could it save your life? 100%. So if you're looking to put in those city miles, you want to be seen upgrade your lighting first and foremost and i think the last thing i'll say and this is more just one that you'll have to decide on i'll give you both sides of this upgrade but it's one that i run on all of my bikes specifically because it is an upgrade that saved my life in a nearly fatal motorcycle accident and that is of course a crash bar so again some of my friends and a lot of the ogs out here in new york city don't run them just because it, it for a lot of reasons it doesn't make sense just in terms of just having to maneuver through really tight situations that the city could throw your way. It's, it's just something else that's protruding out of your bike, especially if you have to squeeze a bike through a really tight situation. So I get that. And again, I do have a lot of friends that are like, nope, I don't run crash bars or on any of my bikes. But again, just because it is an upgrade where when the worst had happened, I was not pinned under my bike because of this upgrade. So again, because it is an upgrade that did save my life, I do run a crash bar on all of my bikes. So that's one that you just kind of have to decide for yourself if it's worth it for you but again um i endorse it it, it makes sense for my riding style it's saved my life so i run them on all my bikes especially my bikes that i do heavy city mileage on so that's just uh four that i named obviously i could keep rambling on about other things that i think are really important for city riding but in terms of my bikes and my riding style again not the most sexy upgrades but that's the big four that i usually do especially for bikes that i know that i'm putting in challenging conditions which is all of my bikes so all my bikes have those things upgraded for those reasons so again if you think i'm missing something or there's something else that's really important for city riding let me know in the comments you know i've said it before in my other videos a motorcycle is an excellent way to get around within an urban environment such as new york city so you know i definitely endorse and celebrate urban riding but obviously you want to keep your bike functional obviously the name of the game is survival and making sure that you could get back home to start your bike another day so make sure your bike's dialed in and prepared and i guess the last thing that i'll say is one thing that i respect about the uh subscriber that wrote in is he waited like a year or two until he decided he wanted to start riding in the city and i think that's pretty smart it's definitely a different level of intensity in terms of riding so i don't know if i would tell someone to uh <laughs> be doing primarily city riding if they're a new rider but some people have no choice and the other side of that coin is that's maybe just like a trial by fire situation you know because like they say if you can make it here you can make it anywhere these streets are tough man but if you could survive them everywhere else you go is like a breeze and that's coming from somebody that rides cross country so that's it y'all i hope you'll ride with me in the city and i hope your bike will be dialed in to do it as always, stay safe and stay low. Emphasis on staying safe. Make sure you got your skills up to date. Take your MSS course. Be confident in your riding ability. Wear your gear. Make sure your bike is dialed in. And on that, FXCLS Brooklyn is out.